right, so here is the LaRue Ultimate AR-15 upper kit, and I'm gonna do an assembly guide. First, I'll do an unboxing. Just got it in this morning, ordered it almost exactly a week ago. 2017 catalogs. Little stickers, test targets, and I got the unassembled version, so this has not been assembled, test fired, um, anything. So I will get to do that. Oh, that looks good. So let's go over what all is included. Let's see, we've got the upper receiver, the stealth upper receiver with that installed the foregrip. I got the 13 inch and I chose black. Then, oh, cool. Heavy trigger spring. I won't be using that. I like the light. Index clips. Lower parts kit. Dillo, Dillo dust. Barrel. Oh, nice. The new style gas block looks to be installed already. Oh, I'm gonna have to take this off to put the to put the Predator style barrel nut on there. And like this, this is the you know protects it. So if you want to, you can swap it out because it has that Predator barrel nut on your Predator. Here's the Tranquilo muzzle brake. I'll show you how to install it and time it. Uh, but my suppressor takes another muzzle brake, so I'm going to be installing that at a later date. Here is the barrel nut and muzzle brake installation tool. Here's the rat stock with a spring and buffer tube nut. And here is the bolt carrier group. And this is for the 6.5 Grendel, which I got the 18 inch 6.5 Grendel barrel. And then of course the MBT trigger, and it comes with this chassis to where you can see how it works. And it comes all installed, I did not install that. Alright, so, I don't see the barrel nut. I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna see if I can find that. Okay, so I realized that the barrel nut is installed in there. So to get this off, I was gonna use my fat wrench, torque wrench, uh, but it won't quite reach in there. So I could not find this in the box, but thankfully I had this from uh, one of my ring sets from LaRue. So I'm gonna use that to get this uh, forward grip off. Uh, handguard and then uh, get that nut off to to put it on here okay got it separated you can see there's a little bit of uh, pre-applied loctite on these take a look looks like the predator all right I'll get this off all right, so I'm removing the set screws for the gas block, the new style gas block. All right, so here it is. You can see the port. I'm not sure what that marking is. And then here's the dimples for the set screws. So no machining, no gunsmithing is needed to assemble this kit. And it's that makes it super easy for alignment of that top hole. So now this will go on that direction and we'll get this put back together. For the gas block set screws I'm gonna apply a little red Loctite. Um, I'm, I believe whenever you order a gas block from LaRue they send you a tiny little vial but uh, this stuff makes it super easy just like a little glue stick. Of course you can also use the the regular 263 um, but uh, this is an anaerobic, anaerobic compound, which means that it remains solid or a paste, or a liquid or a paste, 
until you remove oxygen in the presence of metal. So if you, this liquid, if I was to accidentally drop metal shaving in here and remove the oxygen by sealing the lid, this thing would be part as a rock. So I'm gonna put a little tiny dab on this and get this installed. For what I can find, there were no instruction manuals that I could find, but the torque value for this thread uh, somewhere people say in between 20 and 30 inch pounds so I'm just gonna go a hair over 20 or right at 20 to install it okay got the last one torqued down to 20 inch pounds uh, it was very easy because of those machine dimples to make sure that this was properly aligned just for the time being I put this protector on there just to make sure this thing didn't get bent uh, this something similar to this comes also with the Predator. So, as I may have mentioned before, this is a Predator barrel nut. So it is interchangeable with the 556 five, Predators. So uh, that is an option. Okay, so now that the gas block and tube are all installed, a little bit of red Loctite, torqued down to 20 inch pounds, properly aligned thanks to the machined uh, dimples and before that the barrel nut was installed uh, or just slid on there uh, the next thing that we can do I guess you can take two paths either you can go ahead and do the muzzle brake if you have this blind bore tool like this or uh, if you've got the upper receiver like a plastic uh, vice block, uh, you want to go ahead and install this, or with this guy, you can do it as well. So uh, there's a couple of schools of thought on this. Some people will say that you have to use uh, some grease whenever it goes, uh, whenever you install it. Some people will say that you need to put grease, uh, like an aeroshell. I forget what the, the mill spec uh, is on that, but um, like a, a molly grease, I believe or as a lithium grease uh, someone will have to correct me in the, the comments uh, on this as well some folks will say that you use a dab of red loctite that the larue obr actually comes with red loctite on it i'm going to treat this like a predator i'm going to put this on there without anything i'm going to clean it off with a rag first um, but i'm going to install it just like the predator 40 to 50 inch uh, foot pounds 40 to 50 foot pounds uh, and I'm not going to do anything because I may swap this 6.5 Grendel out and put it in my Predator at some point so I'm not going to uh, secure it down and I've had excellent luck I've never had it back off on my 5.56 five, Predator so that's what I'm going to do 40 to 50 foot pounds okay well after saying that I took a look at this new barrel nut wrench and muzzle device wrench and it says to go 50 foot pounds so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use this with a, a torque wrench the other option is if you get the if you have a predator or you get the predator barrel wrench uh, basically slide it on there with the lower receiver kind of helps keep it in place and then basically push it as as hard as you can uh, and it's they say an eighth of a turn about and uh, I've had a return almost to zero every time I mean it's zero to plus uh, half MOA so I'm going to now put it on this here's what it looks like I'm going to torque that until 50 foot-pounds okay next up would be the muzzle brake installation and this thing looks amazing makes me wish I had a tranquilo they came out about two weeks after I brought bought my other suppressor so these are the shims so what we're going to do is called timing the muzzle brake so because it can't be positioned in any direction it has to be with the port directly at the 12 o'clock and the exhausting gas at three and nine. 
So we want to shim it up so that whenever we torque this down, that it's exactly in line. So prior to doing this, you're going to want to degrease all the threads. And then you want to make it so that when once you figure out the right combination of shims, that it would be just slightly off centered so that whenever you torque it down it'll line up perfectly and again this helps you out the muzzle device will be torqued to 35 to 45 foot pounds next step is installing the new stealth 2o handguard There's already some pre-applied Loctite on this, so there's no reason to reapply. But I'm gonna get this torqued down. Um, because my torque wrench, my fat wrench torque wrench, won't reach, I'm just gonna do this with this little hand tool. And I forgot one last thing. Uh, you want to, after degreasing it, after you figure out the timing, you're gonna apply a few drops of green Loctite or rock set to the threads before torquing it down to that final torque value of 35 to 45 foot pounds. And then you wanna let that cure overnight before messing with it or before shooting it. Uh, so here's the final step. Got the charging handle installed. Putting in the bolt. All right. There it is. Now you just pick out your lower, install the lower parts kits. Good to go. I'll throw this on my Predator lower and let you see what it looks like. LaRue Tactical AR-15 Ultimate Upper Kit with the 6.5 Grindle 18 inch barrel, 13 inch handguard. Let me know if you have any questions.